Are you listening? Yo, we built this city. What's up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So excited. Man, last night's news was a blast of the brain. Woo-wee. And we had a good brain. Yeah. 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 We had Hillbilly yeah. and Cookie Dude chilling out. I tried to get into Bob, but the Bob was like, oh, I play video games. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, I'm playing Commander at the local game shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm playing around, but no. It was awesome for what we had last night, and now it's it's always good to play games. It's always good to get out and have fun and yep. beat your opponent to smithereens and smash them and make them regret playing against you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> what was that news last night, Tortoise? For those that didn't make it. Well, we'll get that to a little bit later. You know, build some suspense. Because right now we are <laughs> in the introduction aisle. The aisle. See, we've got our little... YouTube shopping carts walking around, you know, looking at <laughs> what's going on. You know, like, look, there's a hillbilly. Hello, hillbilly. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello. hillbilly. And you're like, Hello, cookie dude. Good morning, everybody. Oh, whoa, look at that. Yeah, look, look at that. that. Get a little scruff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're, 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 I'm you're going to grow, grow it back, back out. I'm growing it back yeah. out. Except it's on top of my head. That's going away. Because yeah, people are confused <laughs> on how old you are without that beard. Yeah, know, you, do look, you do look younger without the beard, to be honest. Yeah, I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dad's younger than me. Woo woo. <laughs> Time traveler. <laughs> and we got Tabalt. What's up? What's Tabalt? up, people? Good morning, local California. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Glad yeah. to be here. So excited that you're here. Man, I'm always excited when you guys are here. We got a good group yeah. going. And Megan Full, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. You're good. good. Good morning That's to you. Awesome. You've been That's absent good. for a couple of days yourself. Yeah. I was going to say, we missed them a couple of days there. Yeah, mm-hmm. computer issues. Oh. Yeah. Got to yeah. fix now, though. Nice All right. Good. Let's say hi to some people in chat. Let's see if the mouse is working. The mouse is working. We got the real world world. What's up? We got Time Capsule who's here for a minute. Hello, Time Capsule. Whoa, whoa. Time is a cookie dude. You're here and you're there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in two places. I don't know right. how I do it. <laughs> nice right. logo. Thank you. Oh, thank you. James Willis. What's up? James Willis, the coolest subscriber. Good morning, no. James. So you don't know me or recognize my face. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Ktorg, yeah, what's up? Man, not a fat, not a fat. What's up? Oh, James Wells Macaroni plays the mamba, listens to the radio, but don't you remember? We built this city <laughs> on rock and roll. That's right. We built this yeah. city. We built the city on rock and Jefferson airplane. Yep. And Jefferson Brandon. Yep. Brandon, Brandon, what's up? Happy Turkey Day. Happy birthday, everyone. Brandon. Brandon. You made it. Brandon. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning to everybody. And yeah. my brain has been off schedule. You know, all the pictures of the day I did were for Thursday, not Wednesday. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna keep them aside for tomorrow and just you know make it work easier there. Well, we yeah. know what we not really know what super fast, why super fast did that because he don't want because he wants the giveaway that I'm doing today to be over with, so he does not get to be into the giveaway. Well, that true? I did the giveaway. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just want to win already. Yeah. Just, that's what I'm waiting for. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm we're all hyped for your um, giveaway, you Billy. Well, I'm, right. my, I'm, all, I'm hyped myself for it. I can't wait for it. Yeah. It was, uh, it was Jefferson Airplane, Jefferson Starship, then just Starship. Oh, well. You know, they're 
their uh, last album kind of killed them. You know, uh, now they're kind of split up and like uh, some of the members of Starship play for Toto and uh, REO, you know, and they go around the country and do nostalgic uh, songs, you know. Uh. So Talibad, I uh, bought myself a, a digital recorder. Uh, nice. So cool. Cool. it made a lot of sense of what you said because my memory is terrible. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's arriving tomorrow, and then cool. I'm gonna, yeah. So that was a great idea, and also I took your idea of uh, I made a video on on uh, my dialysis. And I did a couple of videos on that, and then I'm doing the videos, starting to do videos on rock music. And nice, music. Yeah, fancy. So you had a lot of good ideas, so thank you. Well, yeah. you're absolutely welcome. I'm looking forward to seeing them. I'm looking forward to learning a lot. Yeah. 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 Look yeah. at that. You guys know you guys are helping each other. That's the point of this world. And Emily, yeah. what's the first segment of the day? Uh I keep wanting to say deck of the day, but I know it has to be the card of the day. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. looking for the cards today, and I'm like, this card looks like it'd be fun in a zombie deck. Ooh, boy. Maybe you catch it during turn Why don't you catch this one and read this one for everybody, since you were trying to play it earlier. Gurov, the flesh right, a two and a blue, a two, three, human warlock, not a zombie. But whenever you cast a spell during your turn, other than the first spell, so the first spell won't count, uh, you get to create a 2 2 blue and black zombie cr rogue creature token. Ooh. Whenever a zombie enters a battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each other zombie that entered the battlefield under your control oh, wow. this turn. Oh, wow. That's pretty powerful. I mean, if you had two zombies out there, that's two plus one plus one counters on one of them, and then one plus one plus one counter on the other if you played a spell already. Yep. This is a draft the flash right should be a draft the zombie storm. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I mean, this spell is good if you can cast more than one spell. Otherwise, it's well. You're in blue. You got how many ponders? You got how many brainstorms? How many uh, sleight of hands out there? You know all the one drop cantrip cards. This card will be easy to break, especially oh, yeah. the cheap draw out there. Yep. But, like, you know, my zombie deck, I play a spe first spell. It's probably making everybody sacrifice a creature. Then I play a second spell. It's a zombie. You know, then I have enough room for another spell. That's another zombie, which, you know, convert mana cost three. So I'm spending, like, seven mana. And I'm getting some powerful stuff on the board. This card is pretty good. Yep. Yep. And, and look at nice. the zombie on the floor. It looks like Coogie Dude. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. I, I didn't see that. It's kind of dark. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like 20 hands. Yes, <laughs> 20 hands. Big Christmas Grimace light. Door. Yeah. And Christmas lights, you know, ready <laughs> to go. Yeah. And ride them cowboy, right? Well, that's because yeah. they're charging the zombie yeah. with a lot of music. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's yep. important. That's how you get rock and rolls. You lightning strike into something. <laughs> right. Don't forget it. <laughs> right. But there's more to rock and roll. There's more than rock and roll and metal. Right. Uh, there is more. There's I, more I, than rock and roll and metal. I but do have. I do country. have uh, countryside. You know, yeah. uh, ancient country, not uh, new stuff. The new but, stuff. Yeah, I, I agree from, with you on there. Who, from the who 40s. Do. And, uh, like I got a Hank Williams you know, yeah. back, back in the 30s and 40s Hank Williams uh, had a radio show that he he talked about his life and play songs well they put out a box set of all his radio shows and it comes in a 30s radio uh, yeah. and then you turn it and you have a knob on it you turn it on and it plays his shows on the box and then inside is all the CDs they converted oh, no. to digital. 
Huh. They're really good. You can get the first show to the last show. Nice. This, is, this is just the chat and chill announcement stream, right? Well, yeah, pretty sure. much. Yep. All yeah. right. Uh, we're getting to the picture of the days because I found. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this, this is to ball every morning. I absolutely. <laughs> right, right up until nine o'clock when the show starts. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, God damn it! What did my eyes open? <laughs> Time to roll out of bed. <laughs> yeah. I have to roll yeah. for hours to get out of bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that face. He even looks like the bald's face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind, of, kind of looks like he's con content and doesn't want to get out of bed. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> then the next picture of the day. Who ordered the Monday motivator? I know it's not Monday, but I thought, I wow. thought it was good. Now that's, that big Derek, cup of that's super fast cup right there. That's yep. right. Super See, he's cup. trying to fast forward time, right? so so uh, he came so we don't need to do that. Wow, that's funny. That's funny. You know, it's pretty good. So we do got. I did. I did kind of topic the show a little, just so I had a monologue. Yep. Um. Mm, where is it? Private chat. Oh, that's pretty cool looking, Dad. Yes. That's, that's oh, uh, it's not a private chat. Hold on. I had to restart my computer. You know, I need to reinstall Arena. You know. All right. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's get to my face. There you go. My face. So, we have come a long way, but we've made it to the monetized level of YouTube because you, Tortoise is a partner with YouTube now. I think that is awesome, and as a community, we will grow together. We make this channel very awesome, from the subscribers, viewers, to the people who frequent my channel as guests. I think you all rock. And as my channel continues to grow, I think we will see the ability to bought Waffles, Coogie Dude, and TC Dude, and other people grow, building a community of great friends and a group of people to hang out with. Let's yeah. grow a healthy, good vibes community and rock it. Because it is awesome. Just yeah. like our love and magic, let's have a chat and chill day today. Nope. Chat and chill day. Chat and chill yeah. day. Chat and Sounds chill day. good. I always yeah. love those days. Yeah, well, like, like I could have came up with a topic, could have come up with something, but like, man, I'm so excited. I'm still so excited that I'm a YouTube partner now. I gotta like submit forms and stuff because they you actually will do want to pay you. Um, so I might, so I'm probably gonna slow roll that because I don't want to, I don't want to just all of a sudden be like let everybody put super chats and stuff and whatnot kind of thing. I want to kind of slow roll it. So if I do super chats, you know, people probably won't notice there's an option there until oh, look, there's an option, <laughs> an option, Try make, it, hey. make it feel natural, nice, natural. Oh, natural. So, how did that come about? Did they did they contact you? Was that something you applied for? Mm -hmm. Or for those of us that don't know, it's how did both. that work? It's both. When you reach your goal, they reach out mm -hmm. to you. Say, You've reached this level. Now apply. To apply. Then when you apply, you have to go through three different steps. You have to go through AdSense. You have to go through YouTube. And then that step after that is you have to submit a tax form. So when they pay you, because they have to report everything to the IRS. Yeah. Right. The, the wonderful 1099. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Independent contractor. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so I haven't submitted anything yet, like tax form or nothing yet. So that's why I'm slow rolling it. Scroll. That's right. Nice. Don't be in a rush. You're young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the right back. The time you're 50, you want to be a millionaire, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I want to go back and see 50 back again. In case I need your uh, bills. <laughs> yeah, you know, if I need you, someone I can pay off your bills, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's good. I mean, uh, you worked hard, and you know, you you worked at this for years, and uh, you know. Uh, that's great. Okay, uh, yeah. a couple of you guys are aren't far behind him, you know. So uh, yeah. that's great. I'm way behind, you know. I got 
495 to go. <laughs> I, think it, I think the order of us here is Tibalt, then me. I'm I'm betting you're going to be there before me, dude. You've got the watch hours and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, but I just got to get the subs and ain't get I ain't get subs yet. But I'm getting closer and closer. You're on your way. I think you've had a great year this so far, and I'm sure you're going to continue. Yeah, well, I think yeah, we're all going to get there. I think we're all go together going to get there. I mean, I, oh, I know yeah. I'm already there, but like, but like, I think this year we're going to see a jump. We're going to see a change in our channels. We're like, mm-hmm. like a good change for the positive. You know, yeah. Dad, yeah. you're playing with the laptop again. Oh, sorry, <laughs> my bad. I do you that know, all the time. Richie Dubs in the house. Rich yeah. Dubs. So, so like, I think we're going to see a shift. A change in metrics. I think as we build this community up as a creep or whatever, Tabaltz calls his minions and hmm. Hibberly really calls his dag blight people. Um, <laughs> you know, I think I think we'll see. I think we'll I think we'll see a progressive change, and that will help us grow much yeah. more. Like Hibberly really has such a healthy growth to his channel that he'll probably hit monetization by the end of the year. Yeah. Be great. That'd, That'd be, be great. great. Sure. Yeah, oh, I'm just maybe. gotta. Oh, go ahead. Tavon's already at the 500 level, aren't you? Yep, yep. I just gotta yeah. get myself in gear and get some more, uh, some more good content for people to view. Right. And Speaking of which, to... you've you've probably already talked about this, but uh, another shout out to the the podcast you were on there. Oh um, yeah, that was that was great. Is that somebody mm-hmm. else that reached out to you? How'd that happen? So um, on DJ Stream, someone invited one of the podcast members on to play, and mm-hmm. they really liked they really liked my deck and how I, and how I interacted, and they wanted me to be on their show because they're kind of a new channel because their YouTube channel is like twenty seven subscribers. Ah, and um, and one day they're they're going to try to jump on the show. I'm going to try to schedule that out because the randomness thing doesn't really work out for them. You know, but like, right. yeah, that was that was completely invited. And um, funny enough, um, that episode was kind of kit bashed together because they needed a film because they missed a week and they didn't want to miss a week. And so like that day, they're like, hey, would you want to record a show with us? I'm like, yeah, I'm available today, <laughs> like this time frame. We can do that. Like, sweet. And that's why he says in the show is like, you know, he just really Tortoise really just jumped on and really just did a show last minute it was literally last minute well and you did a great job and stuff they did a really good job with that you didn't uh didn't notice it didn't feel cobbled together it felt like you guys knew what you were doing so ah, thank you like like i was so excited to be there i'm like come on someone else's channel <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, i didn't get to watch the whole uh stream because i had to leave leave the house and go do something i don't remember what it was but they did get a view out of it because I left, had it on my Roku TV, and I just let it play. Nice. It was a yeah. good interview. Like I, I could personally tell you that they kind of mixed some of the, they mixed some of the topics around to fit their narrative. But they didn't really mm-hmm. do a lot to the show. They just like took like uh, in part, put it in the middle, and they took a middle part and put it towards the end. I'm like, interesting. You know they 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 adjusted it to their needs, but I, I enjoyed it. I I listened to the whole thing just to hear it. Just nice. to hear it. James Willis says, "I remember when SFT was just a wee little channel, a wee mm-hmm. little port." That's right. <laughs> yeah. My next video should be finally be dropping fourteen minutes two days later. Nice. Let's go. Nice. So, if you want watch hours on your videos. Um, live streaming is pretty decent when you can have some one person watching at least for that hour that you're on. Like, you can stream all you want. Like, have you thought about getting into streaming games? Do you know how to do that? Um, yeah, I did. I've done that before. I did that on Twitch mostly. I haven't done it on uh, YouTube. Um, generally, uh, personally, I don't know that my uh, commentary is all that astute. But I did. Uh, I actually did a, a video for Real Real here recently, um, and that actually got got a few views. So I appreciate yeah. that. So that was uh, uh-huh. a combination of using his deck with a couple of tweaks that I made, and just got a chance to sit down and play. Um, 
and, and it went well. I got a chance to actually play somebody that I know on a Facebook because, of course, I've got a Facebook uh, account there with Tibble's Apprentice also. Um, so, yeah, it's just a matter of me finding the time and uh, making the effort. And with the stuff that you've shown me a little bit with StreamYard and so on, um, yeah, that's a pretty, that. pretty good tool. That was a fun yeah. interview with you. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. So this is a cheapy USB 3.0 HDMI video capture card, 4K Ultra. It comes with this blue cord. You can plug your video game systems into this. You want to plug your... Um, headset into it because or you want to hear the video game mm-hmm. you can actually stream games through obs with that really oh. yeah and it's like a 20 dollar thing and i got it for free cool Yay. Mm-hmm. i got it for free because um i bought something and they're like hey you want to do a review for like 30 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that and i'm like yeah and they're like here you go yeah we like to review here's 20 bucks I'm like, okay. I'm like, what can I buy with it? And there's a video capture card. I'm like, sweet. I get, a, get I get that for free. That's content. Yeah, yeah it has, sounds like it. I'm not quite there. Uh, I got to put up a uh, hundred more videos. You know, <laughs> just slowly do it. I mean, I got to think of topics to make to do. Uh, you know, in my description, I said I do talk about magic, but I don't know anything about it. So. <laughs> you're, like, you're like this is a card it is made of cardboard it yeah. has lots of colors on it yeah that's about it that's all i know as far as, yeah, as, far as content best way to do content is find out what your fa- what is your favorite thing to do and my favorite thing to do is to listen to rock and roll right well, right yeah. there's your right there's your content yeah, which I started. Which I started. I did one video on uh, uh, Ronnie James Dio's uh, Rainbow Rising, which mm. was their second release from Rainbow, and I explained a little bit about the players. Uh, and a lot of people don't know that Ronnie James Dio is out of the East Coast, and he he was in a group called Elf. Mm. It wasn't very popular. Uh, and then Richie Blackmore had enough of Deep Purple, and he left. But, but uh, you you can go on for days about Rich, Richie Blackmore. He's such a character. Right there's, your, right there's your content. Yeah, uh, you know, which I did talk about those two. Uh, you know, after their second, third album, uh, Richie Blackmore and Ronnie James Dio uh, were arguing about the direction of the. The band Rainbow. Uh, Richie Blackmore wanted to go more metal, and Ronnie wanted to go more wizards and stuff like that. Because mm-hmm. if you listen to any of his music, it's all influenced by, you know, uh, wizards and magic and witches. And it's all he, even when he went to Black Sabbath, uh, he influenced. He was in, they, he influenced the band, and then. So you, uh, you yeah. So you could use that for your content. I'll yeah. everything you're telling us right now. Yeah, do yeah. what you do what you love. Yeah, I love what you do. That's right. what you do. Like, you do like, like you? having that dream job. If you love doing, yeah. what, if you do what you love, you're never really working a day in your life. You're just putting effort into showing yeah. how much you care. Exactly. What, oh, yeah. what game? What games do you like to play, Tim Alt? So, uh, really, the only thing that I do is magic. Uh, as far as um, as far as video games, uh, my favorites, are, of course, are, are going to be the the Silent Hill type games, the survival horror stuff, um, mm-hmm. and also uh, Dead Space. The Dead Space series was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, my wife loves 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 Fallout um, and stuff. So that's what we have as far as that. As far as computer games or anything. I don't actually play a lot of games. I'm uh, into everything, but I don't play them a lot myself. So magic has pretty much consumed uh, my whole being at this point. Um, The other thing that I do, though, is uh, I do a little bit of sleight of hand myself. That's how I'm able to always top deck the cards that I need. So just (laughs) kidding. Just kidding, of course. I don't actually do that. I don't actually. Well, see, my advice to you then would be to... Um, that you're into a bunch of video, bunch of video games. 
make a just a gaming channel and stream your games. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, you yeah. can do magic. You can do uh, Fallout. You, know, you can do all that. Just you can make it just well, about video games. Well, if you're interested in streaming your games off your consoles, I mm-hmm. put a link to Amazon the to the capture card that I use. Mm. Okay. And yeah. That's like 1997. That's that really great. good. Very mm-hmm. nice. The only the only thing is. If you, you you go you go through um, you go through uh, OBS and you have to plug in your headset into the capture card to listen to the game, which is not yeah. bad. But, the, yeah. but there's no volume control, so it's going to be loud. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but it, but it's fun. It's fun. It's really cool. Like like the screen I play on is on OBS. Excuse me, it's on OBS, but it's like this big. Even instead of playing on big old TV. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, as you make graphics and stuff. Yeah. Oh, Captain yeah. Waffles. Hey, Captain Waffles. Captain Waffles. Has Captain Waffles. Good you morning. Oh my gosh. It's a full Rip. house. The breakfast captain is here. Yeah, the only. Uh, I mean, I don't play video games pretty much, uh, especially the new ones, because you know I don't have them. But you know. 20 years ago, I played uh, Doom. That was my favorite game. Oh, Doom is a good game still. Yeah, well, that, yeah. that was my favorite game, and I played that for 10, 12 hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they, re- they recently re- re- rebooted the series, and it's really good still. The reboot must, is really good. But I but I bought the, the cheat book. It's like yeah. that thick, and yeah. gives you all the cheat codes to make it to nice. the level. Uh, yeah. And That's you can cool. design your own Battlefield, you know. Oh, uh, nice. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So that's my favorite game. Um, yeah, there's a time Daddy has and I used to spend hours playing Minecraft, building yeah. CTM maps. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. If yeah. You know what yeah. CTM maps. New, games. New games are so easy. Go back and play Lion King on Sega Genesis or Aladdin yeah. <laughs> or Batman yeah. on re- regular Nintendo, and you're you can't even get past the first level, and you want to quit life in general. <laughs> Wait, which right. which Aladdin? Because there's two different Aladdins. The one on Super Nintendo, the one on Sega Genesis. What is it? Oh, it depends. Like, where are you going to play Mortal Kombat on? Are you going to play on Super Nintendo, where they censor the blood, or are you going to play it on yeah. Sega, uh, where they where they made it easier to get to see the blood? I, I just asking which Aladdin um, Captain Waffles is talking about. I like the Super Nintendo. Aladdin more than just Sega Genesis. Yeah, I, maybe maybe that's just because it's the first game I ever beat. Yeah, I mean I like a lot of games from the nineties. Uh, they had I think it was Mortal Kombat uh, uh, where they had the soldier and he went after the Germans, and then there was one where you were fighting the Germans. They had like. Uh, zombies and something that worked for the German. Oh, that was uh, oh, Wolfenstein. Doom. Doom. Oh, Wolfenstein probably. Wolfenstein, yeah. Wolfenstein yeah. same company, but different name of game. Yeah, yeah. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein's a fighter. You're talking about Wolfenstein. That was yeah, one Wolfenstein. Of the first yeah, yeah, Wolfenstein. Yeah, I loved that game. Uh, you know, but then time I really got into it, everybody else in the world has moved on to another thing, and I go into the the game and I'd be all by myself, you know. <laughs> yeah. Now, as far as content, there's different kinds of content creators out there. Some do games, some do magic. And a content creator can be anybody <laughs> Did he? on any kind of content. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, content's yeah. going to be content whatever. Like, you just got to enjoy doing it. You got to ignore the haters that come out. You gotta hate, I say, I know I sound, like, conceited when I say that. Like, I ne- don't use the term haters very much. But, like, like you don't, you like, people who leave negative comments, just ignore them. Whatever. It's, it's about what you love. You know you did a good job. Just keep on doing it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I think we need to put an asterisk with that of what content, because only fans are content creators. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you, I started you that page. I haven't really made any money yet, but I started that page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so there's there's a lot of content. 
that mm -hmm. is available. I mean, this channel is a community channel, so uh, Superfast lets you talk about anything that's on your heart. Yep. You know, so uh, which is super great. Uh, you know, because uh, mm -hmm. like if this was just a Magic the Gathering channel, I'd probably be silent most of the time. You know, ask yeah. a lot of questions. But well, we uh, do cover Magic the Gathering a lot. So. Well, I know you do. I'm it's not just, saying you don't. I'm just saying no, that if you know, I want to. Well, what I'm saying is, I'm trying to grow beyond just being a Magic the Gathering channel. I'm trying to be more of a personality style channel and let everybody bring their personality because not everything is going to be about magic. And come on, yeah. a lot of the topics that are coming up nowadays are repeated over and over and over again. So I'm trying to find different ways to be different. You know? <laughs> Yeah, only so much you can do about with magic, you know. Yeah, and maybe and maybe some satirical topics will come out, come up, or some some real life stories will come up. Like, for instance, um, who knew that OJ passed away on the tenth? And there's a lot of jokes on Facebook about it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Know about the jokes, but I knew he passed away. Mm -hmm. I watched well, did, you, a lot. did you hear about the whole? thing about if the Buffalo Bills wouldn't have drafted him, what would have actually happened? No, I didn't. So there's there's a thing that shows that says it had the Buffalo Bills not lost the last game of that season before drafting him, they wouldn't have taken him with their draft big and he would have never met her uh, his wife and never would have killed her, never would have had Car the Kardashian lawyer represent him and then the kardashians would have never been anything in the limelight so we have the buffalo bills to blame for the kardashians like i was going through facebook one day uh, a couple days ago and i saw this meme and it quite didn't make sense to me it said oj simpson can now rest that his wife's killer is dead so i had to look up oj simpson to see what was going on and i'm like what <laughs> what <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of that. Of yeah, he was I don't want to get too political. Never mind. I was going to make a joke about uh, World War II about people, but I won't make that because I don't offend anyone, you know? Yeah, that's not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, O.J. Simpson was the number one foot, uh, running back in the NFL. He was the number one uh Spokesperson for uh, Hertz Rent a Car, he was coming up, become a great actor, you know. And then I don't know what happened. After, you know, I just remember hearing about the death of uh, his wife and that her friend uh, Goldberg or whatever. John Goldman, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if he, I don't know if he did it or not. Uh, 90% of the people believe he did it, but he got away with something, you know, but then he got crazy and started going after Pete, after his, uh, his, uh, you know, his, uh, his, his own memorabilia. Stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, and I remember that was down in Vegas and he went in with a gun and, it, you know, uh, he stayed out here in Nevada, his second home out there in Lovelock where they had a big prison out there and that's where he stayed for 10 years. You know, uh, he, he was up at Susanville for a year or so. Then they moved him to Lovelock, which mm -hmm. Lovelock is way out in the middle of Nevada and the prison's way out in the middle of nowhere, you know? So, uh, yeah, but that's a big news for Nevadans. Has so anybody you know, seen you get spoilers today? Uh, yeah, I looked in the mirror. <laughs> well, you know, cracking up is a different story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, that that's that's code for it. what else is on the top? What's else? What else is on the video? Um, so, so like with all this exciting stuff that's actually happening in our world today, like in our lives today, you know, there's. There's got to be things going on that you have plans for, like with your channels and stuff, right? You're you got these aspirations, you, like you kind of got to like my brain lately has been thinking of how I'm going to grow the show 
and uh, like I've been listening to radio, and I'm like, how do I turn this show kind of into a radio like show where it's not only is it topical like it is, but how how can I add elements to keep it fast paced and fun and keep everybody involved? You know, like that's a it's a constant thing on my brain, like how to, how to change things, and I'm like thinking about how you guys think about stuff like the ball has this channel right now he's playing deck doctor even though he says not a doctor but he does a little deck doctor and um just to just to see how a deck plays you know he doesn't have a phd in decks but you know, <laughs> or a doctorate degree um <laughs> but he, he has fun with it and he does uh, it a little too yeah yeah yep. yeah so, so what's what are your plans for the ball um, so I don't know. Um, actually, uh, between Hillbilly and the real real and actually a couple of people I talked to, cause there was a while that I was kind of down on arena and I wasn't interested in doing anything with it. Um, mm-hmm. cause it just got too frustrating for me. Um, I've found that, uh, they've inspired me a little bit more to, to do some doctoring, even though again, like you said, no, no actual doctor degree. Um, <laughs> uh, but I've been around for a while and I have, without patting myself on the back too much, I, I sometimes have a knack for seeing um, seeing a weakness or something that I would change. And that's maybe really just for me playing my specific pet cards right. um, and things. But um, I found that... Um, <laughs> thanks, James. Um, so that's kind of, like I said, revitalized me into to getting inspired to play and actually talking to people. Um, when I talked about hillbilly and stuff, the idea that you're playing people that you know, um, that really, for me, ties into the what I love best about the game, which is, I say it all the time, it's boring, you hear it all the time, it's the gathering or whatever, but it really does make a difference to play with somebody that you can respond to and talk to more than just, um, just that win-loss thing that's on Arena. Because right. that is very much, you know, either you win or you die in that. That's it. That's all there is to it, it, it seems. Yep. Unless you can find somebody that you can chat with inside arena, outside arena, whatever. That's it. So as far as that goes, there's that. Um, some of the pack openings, I'm going to start bringing some of the pack openings and stuff over from Instagram. Um, nice. Luckily, I have my, my wife helping me with that. Um, I don't know that I will do as much as I do on a daily basis on uh, YouTube, but what I might do is I might pull like a week's worth of pack openings up or whatever and just bring those over as content to watch, just see what cards are coming out there. Um, I have a question for you about your your Instagram videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, are those, are those recorded directly onto Instagram or are those recorded off of Instagram? They are recorded directly onto um, our phones, and mm-hmm. so they go straight in there. Now, I do have the ability to pull those off and put those on uh, my laptop, but I was mentioning to you before and stuff that was maybe out, off uh, behind the scenes or whatever, but, like, my laptop, half the screen is out, so, like, I've got, like, this much area to try to edit in. That makes it really challenging. Yeah. So we talked a little bit about uh, I have to get some more tools on my computer, which I'm on right now. My lap or my uh, my work my desktop computer. Um, I need to get some of that so I can do editing here and I can do editing wherever I'm at. Um, yeah. The other videos are short, quick, and um, like you said, they pretty much go straight to Instagram. Yeah, I, I don't use Instagram. I don't. I think I signed up for it, but I never use it. You know, uh, and there's other it, it, ones. Yeah. Uh, What's the other one out there that they had? It was called TikTok uh, or, Yeah, TikTok. I don't TikTok. watch that at all. Yeah, I don't do too much with that or whatever, but really um, the Instagram thing, I'm only able to do that because my wife has my back there and uh, is what? helping me with that or whatever and helps me set things up and shoot things when I'm setting, setting at the table, sorting cards or doing stuff. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Get yeah, a question. Good. Mm. Um, all right, on uh, um, Instagram, mm-hmm. is there any way to get like monetized or anything like that? On Instagram? Absolutely, yes, yes, there is. Um, I don't currently know anything about that, <laughs> but but yes, it is. That's another platform that you can um, you can become a premium content creator there and, mm. and stuff. So that's that's another thing to 
to look into at a later date. I'll keep you posted on that. Um, okay. Yeah. I didn't so, know that. Yeah. So yeah. to follow up on that, so if you're going to be monetized, you've got to keep the subject, like one subject that you cover, you know, not, the whole spectrum of them. Not necessarily. Know? Really what they're paying you for is your following or your followers. Um, you just need to have the views. You need to have um, enough followers uh, to do that. And then I'm not sure what their rules are as far as content creation, as far as you need a certain amount of hours. But I believe it's similar to YouTube where um, if you have enough followers, you then uh, have enough content and stuff. If people are going to your channel, then they're going to find you uh, worth monetizing then. Right, right. So but uh, Instagram is part of Facebook, right? Meta? Or is that its own it's Owned thing? by Facebook, but it's not part of Facebook. Oh, yeah. Okay. It very easily will translate over, though. Yes. Um, I can post on Instagram, and it will copy it to Facebook for me. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Not that um, I do a lot on Facebook. Uh, you know, and just to let all you guys know, uh, my Facebook channel uh, has a picture of a Judas Priest record, uh, and the one with my face. I'm going to delete that one because that's the the channel. That's the one I created when I lost my phone, and then I had to start a whole new channel because I got all my passwords and everything. Yeah. Uh, so I have two Facebook channels, but the one with the record of Judas Priest. That's the one I use all the time. The mm -hmm. other one, I'm going. To, I'm trying to learn how to delete it. Uh, it's very complicated, and I can't remember the steps, so I have to keep on going back. But anyway, uh, and I'm eventually going to change my Facebook handle to Could You Dude. Uh, you know, uh, that one step at a time. One so, step at a time. Yep. You know. So uh, anyway, I just want to let you guys know that if you ever have an inkling to see what my channel's about. It's mm -hmm. about nothing, really. It's just I'm just more of a follower than. A... Well, if you look into it, you don't have to change your Coogie Dude name. You can actually create a Facebook page attached to your Facebook page that is strictly for Coogie Dude or Coogie Dude. Yeah. No, oh. I didn't know and, that. And yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a um, super fast tourist page connected to my Facebook. No, oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Check that out. I got and, a Tibble you know, Apprentice connected to my my personal S. Michael Jones page. Yeah. Oh, so, oh yeah. wow. So, oh, you know, man. step by step, ooh, baby, I well, want to know whoa, if you're going to subscribe to this channel. What's up? Well, maybe, uh, you know, we could uh, discuss it later, you know, how to do that. I mean, yeah. I've been doing the help channel, and it's, there's so many – sub subtopics and the help with facebook you know i just it gives me a headache you know? well mm -hmm. just take it one step at a time don't forget yeah. to breathe it's okay to breathe yeah, i forget to breathe i forget to breathe you know oh, sometimes uh, i do especially when i clip my toes yeah clipping <laughs> your toes yeah. <laughs> yeah well you know don't want to clip your toes too close to the skin mm -hmm. Yeah, all that sounds like a song. A song lyric. Don't clip your toes too close to the skin. Yeah. It hurts like your love. There you go. There, there's a new um, number one hit. Spring, uh, spring platform out there. It's been out there for a little bit, but it's called Kick. And I seen uh, uh, news about that. They're paying their content creators seventeen dollars per video. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. So I'd, I'd look into that deeper before just signing up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I've heard some. I just some... seen a video on YouTube about it, but I didn't. Well, I see a lot of anymore. I see a lot of commercials for Timu. Um, I don't buy through Timu because one, they they data mine you like crazy, and they and I know for a fact there's some unsecure transactions in that site. Yeah, so mm, it's yeah. iffy. Yep. Yeah, I mean they're getting better. They're they're a big name pro program now. Don't get me wrong. Just you know, 
Yeah, you got to... waffles. How are you doing? Yeah, I can't believe I, I thought it was beautiful making little scruff sounds. He must be busy. I'm here. Yeah. You're here. How are you doing, Mugafo? I'm doing good. I've just been back and forth because I've been helping Grandma with something. Oh, how dare you be nice and help someone out? <laughs> that's, not, that's not what we're all about. That's exactly what we're all about. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> and, and, and my brother, my brother might have to take her the, her car battery to the um, shop uh -huh. because it's not turning on. Uh -huh. the battery down. Oh, damn well, it could be the battery, or it could be your alternator. If <laughs> your alternator is so not charging the battery, then you got to get that fixed. Yeah, yeah. we'll get it figured out. If it's the battery, we'll test it. Take it up to the shop and get tested. If, yeah, if you just got to hook up. Or no. Just got to hook up a multimeter to your uh, alternator, and if it's put more than twelve volts out, then it's working good, and it goes straight to your battery. And batteries wear out, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, my, my battery on my truck finally wore out after after 11 years, which right. is a well, good, you know, good run for a battery. Good run. Yeah, you, you could do, uh, yeah, you can also do a self-check on the alternator. Uh, but you uh, hook the battery up if it's charged, turn the car on, unhook the battery, and see if the, and if the car stops its alternator. Thing just yep. it's not even turning on. It, the lights won't turn on or anything when you try to turn it on. So yeah, he's saying once you have the battery full, then you try yeah. that. Yeah, right. you, you can always take it in to an auto store like Napa or uh, AutoZone, and they'll check that's your what, battery out for oh, you. That's what oh, we're Bradley gonna do. Auto Parts. My grandma's gonna give my brother to take up the battery up to AutoZone. But, uh, you know, if the battery, yeah, if the battery's charged. Just uh, hook the battery up like you would normally would. Okay. Then uh, start the car. Then unhook the battery. Take the hot in the ground off the battery. The car stays running. The alternator is fine. But if it dies, you got a bad alternator. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff. Exactly. Especially, especially though. Especially today, there's so so many computers in the cars today. It depends yeah. how old the car. The older the car, it's like the a '99 car. So yeah, Ooh, so I that's think. so yeah, it's good. Yeah, it doesn't have it all the spare parts in it. So yeah, that's good to work on. Uh, the newer cars, you need to be a rocket scientist to figure oh, yeah. it out. Yeah, the rocket scientists. Yep. They're the Especially, rocket scientist cars, but they don't fly. The, <laughs> the only tr only car or truck we have is my dad's truck that we would, is required to go to those people because it's more electronic. Yeah, yeah when I was uh, back, back in the uh, 70s, I bought a International Scout. Mm -hmm. uh, and... My, I took it to my uncle, and he teach me how to work on the car. And we were trying to uh, tune it up. And, and we, you know, most time when you tune it up, you put your, your meter on number one plug. And, but with the International Scout, you had to tune it up for number eight plug. And we didn't know that. And we could never get the, the car to to tune up, you know, but after we find a number eight. Anyway, I would not recommend you buy a 69 Scout, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, my grandma kept, 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 used to keep trying to the radio to win a car. She won a car, but there's an older car, and they didn't really fix it up like they should have. She eventually oh. had to sell it because it was going to get to be too expensive to fix it up for us. Right, right. Well, I'll right. tell you right now, do not buy a car that has front cameras on it because normally a windshield will cost you anywhere between 150 to 300 Our Subaru got a crack in the windshield. It's $1,800 to replace the windshield. Oh, because they have, to re they have to recalibrate the camera when they put a new windshield on. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> that shouldn't cost that much, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think it'd be like that, but I get it. What, you, what you're saying, 
I mean, yeah. come on, we're we're getting to the point where they're gonna have that holographic on your windshield that can kind of shows you the display. Yeah, right? yeah, that's called uh, that's called Apple Vision. You just drive with that on. Yeah. yeah. Heads up display like on aircraft, <clears throat> right? It has it has the it has the the camera underneath the dash and it puts it up on, on a mirror backwards and then it reflects on the screen the right way. Mm-hmm. Uh, that way you can look at the road and see your speed, your RPMs, and all that. Right. I mean, I used to work on uh, fighter aircraft and they had the heads up display on that and. You just push these buttons and you get you can see every instrument on your screen you know mm-hmm. you can see the way you're fighting and uh, your aoa which is angle of attack you can see all that stuff on your heads up display you know and uh you know and you ever look at a cockpit it, you see all these gauges and stuff so on a, any aircraft each engine has its own panel uh, gauges they're all the same so engine one and engine two are the same but in that way they can keep them separate and on the big aircraft with four engines or more like the b-52 has eight you know the, it's, the cockpit's so huge and they have all those gauges but uh, um, each one's for engine one through eight and so you can work on whatever is going on and popular the belief that an aircraft can fly on one engine you know wow. unless it only has one engine then you're sol yeah. you know <laughs> you know but uh if you have two engines it, c- it can fly uh a lot of the fighter aircraft like the f4 uh is designed like a bumblebee if it didn't have two powerful engines it would it, it would uh it would not fly, huh. but it flies, and it's not aerodynamic, the F-4, but it's a great aircraft. that has two powerful engines uh, that keep it up. The F-16 uh, has one engine, but it has a great angle uh, glide to ratio, which is a one to four. So for every one foot it drops, it goes four feet fo- forward, you know, uh, and all aircraft has has that, but uh, F four. If you lose both engines, it's going to go straight down. It, ha- it doesn't have a glide path, you know. F uh, sixteen has a glide path, and all the newer aircraft have glide paths. You know, I don't know what they are because a lot of that stuff is still classified on the newer ones. You know, on mm-hmm. the old one, it's all out there, public knowledge. Mm-hmm. You know. But one thing to know is that when we sell aircraft to other countries, like uh, it's not the same aircraft that we have. They don't have all the they don't have all the uh, radar stuff on it that we have. They have the basic aircraft stuff, you know, and they can put their own in, you know, uh, like like when uh, the Air Force went to the F-4s to the 16s, they sold all the F F-4 stuff to Turkey, you know, but mm. Turkey didn't want to pay for uh, the help, so we just sent them in crates, and they had to figure out how to put, it, put them together. <laughs> <laughs> Build-A-Bear, but instead, it's Build-A-Plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yep. Just, like, uh, just like uh, Cuba or Puerto Rico, they bought all the plans for the 1956 Chevy. Mm-hmm. That's why when you go there, the Puerto Rico is part of America. It's just yeah. not really considered. It's, it's complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. It's a U.S. territory. It's not a state. Yeah. Right. No, it's they still, want to be a state, right. but it's a territory. Yeah. It's, well, like, keep, uh, <laughs> it's funny because they keep voting on it, but the citizens keep voting to not make it a state. It's really interesting. Huh. Yeah, because because they don't want to have to pay the taxes and stuff. Like, well, not only that, because of the cartel over there, they have free reign to do what they want. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and uh, Guam is another. It's another territory. Mm. You know, 
that, you know, that's where we get all all our good running backs from. You know, Guam because they grew up to be big, heavy, powerful guys. You know, uh, I've never been to Guam, but I heard it's a nice place to visit. You know, uh, like Hawaii, Alaska. You know, we've got a good deal on Alaska. Yeah. We pay pennies on the, you know, I'm sure Russia's kicking its butt. But, you know, after that deal, you know, uh, I think we bought it for $56,000. I'm not sure, but but it was pretty cheap, you know. And then they have all those minerals up there. Uh, the oil, the minerals they have, uh, you know, it's a great deal for us. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sorry, right. Off that, you know, <laughs> we are past the hour mark. We are in the shill section now. Oh, sorry. I was going on and on. And uh... All righty, folks. Today is the day of the giveaway. <laughs> and it would soon, and it will be soon, right after this stream. Here. Nice. And nice. Um, right wait. after this stream here, I'm going to um, clean my desk off with all these magic cards, boop, boop. and then set up for the giveaway. And, um, I'll be live right after the soon after this stream here. And um, so does that mean I gotta wait two hours? No, you ain't gonna have to wait two hours. <laughs> it won't take me long to uh, clean my desk off. Yeah, right. And um, yeah. Well, anyway, that's a- yeah. anyway, we're gonna use Comment Picker, and we're gonna use a wheel for the giveaways. And I hope I wish everybody good luck at the giveaway. And I'll see you here in a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yep. Well, uh, today was a great show. Uh, congratulations on Superfast on his partnership with uh, YouTube. Uh, and thanks, everybody, for all your great advice that you you share, especially with me when it concerns magic and other stuff. Uh, uh, you know, I got to really thank uh, Talab's Apprentice for being a great source of uh, uh, what uh, information to help me make decisions. So thanks to him and Hillbilly, I can't wait. I don't have to wait till 12 o'clock your time to, <laughs> you know. Oh, do uh, you want me to wait till midnight, my time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be asleep by then. Well, well what, I was, what I was getting at was uh, uh, you draw it t- at 1030 your time, and I won't find out till you know, uh, 1230 your time, two hours later. You know, but I know that's just funny. I'm just being funny. Anyway, uh, that's all I got to say. Thanks, everybody. Good seeing you. Good talking to you all. Yeah. Time for the ball. Well, thank you again for having me. I appreciate being here, having the opportunity. And again, congratulations. A huge, huge congratulations on making that. So thank you. Really you. happy for you. And uh, yeah, so my show thing, uh, just, you know, stay tuned to Tibble's Apprentice on YouTube. Check me out on Instagram, Tibble underscore Apprentice. And if you can't buy from an LGS or don't have an LGS, uh, you know, look me up on TCG Player. You can find me under Store Seller uh, Dark Ritual. So there you go. Link to the channels in the comment, in the, in this, what is it, the description box below. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. All righty. And Captain Waffles, you got something big coming up. Yeah, no, congrats on the monetization. Um, that's well, well deserved. Um, and yeah, the pool game coming up Saturday. Um, I will be streaming before the event. I don't know exactly what time, maybe like 12 or 1 o'clock my time, which is Pacific Standard Time, which is the good time. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing like a pre stream, kind of like a pre gaming, you know, having some fun. Maybe I'll do some giveaways during that. 
Um, maybe I'll be playing arena. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet on the pre-stream, but at five o'clock, we're going to do the pool game. We're really close to adding a new prize to the prize wheel. We're getting close to adding that deflecting swat up there. Um, and there's a lot of ton of other stuff to give away. There is a special card in there. If you pull that, you get a pre-release kit, uh, mm -hmm. from outlaws. Um, there's mm -hmm. the foil Sheldreds in there. It's a $95 car. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in there. It's, it's going to be fun. There's lots of giveaways. If you haven't seen the uh, the video I put out today, I did a Patreon battle giveaway. It was completely free. They didn't even know about it. Um, so they got surprised with that. So, yeah, it's just giveaways after giveaways and fun stuff on this channel. So if you want free stuff hmm. and you want to dance, yeah. Free, free um, so, yeah, that's it. So, oh, oh hold on. Yeah. Congratulations, Taurus. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. So we got yes. uh, we got a 430 stream today. We got an APM Star Man game today. All right, sorry, how to fix that. <laughs> we have a stream come we have a 430 stream today, like normal. We have an APM stream today, like normal. Plus, we're gonna catch us on Hillbilly's channel just in a few short minutes on his channel. So I hope you guys can come over, enjoy, hang out with us, and see who wins. So you gonna watch me win everything, but still, <laughs> um, <laughs> that'll be hard if I win, right? Well, look, look, dude, I'm excited. I got ten pulls in your game. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, like six of them I I had paid for, but I got four yep. of them for free. Yep, yep. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. And so I want to thank you guys for hanging out. And always remember to listen to Lord Megatron. Shockwave! What is your command, Megatron? Subscribe for Magic the Gathering and other content for evil fun. Fear not, Megatron.